Once you guys got another video, how to see what files were opened on your computer. That's what we're going to take a look at today, show you some basic uh, things where people can look to find out what's been opened on their PC. Now, also, you can use other methods to erase all of this to stop people from recovering this information so you won't be able to see what that person has been looking at. So let's go ahead and take a look at it here. First off, inside File Explorer, you'll see this area called Recent. This will be all of the recent activity that has happened on this computer. This is also going to store this information and even send it back to Microsoft. You've got to be very, very careful with some of the settings in Windows. So what we're going to do is I'll show you another area where we can look here. I'm just going to show hidden files, folders and drives because there's a recent area where it stores all of this information. If we go to users and then the user account here, and then you'll see it inside app data here. Once you go inside app data, there will be uh, some areas we can investigate. So let me go up to the top right hand side. I'm going to do a search for recent. There is a path that you can search for this inside the run box as well, but we keep it nice and simple. But there it is right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this location and uh, we can open this up and go to down the bottom where it says show more and we can go open file in location. There it is right there. And if we click on this one here, uh, we can now see all of the recent activity on this computer. So everywhere that you've been and what you've been doing will all be stored inside this location. So this is your recent activity. So if you want to clear all of this, it's advisable because obviously you don't want all this being uh, kept on your system. But you can also break this down inside the sort area. There's an area where you can uh, set by date, and this will tell you uh, what has been opened at what date and what time. As you can see here, date modified, and this will give you the date and time that that file was viewed or downloaded or opened or whatever it is that they've been doing on that computer. So bear that in mind, that's another useful little bit of information you can use to try and see whether someone has been opening stuff on your PC. So let's go ahead and close this now. There is some programs you can use as well. And inside here, there's the recommended here that shows up here. You can turn this off as well. And inside this list, you will see the recent being listed right here. So let's go ahead and have a look at a program you can use as well, which is a bit obsolete nowadays because of this feature that's built into Windows but it's called Re uh, Recent Files Viewer. If you get this one here, it will show you all the recent files that have been viewed on that computer. So you can download this and uh, open this up, and this will do the same thing as what Windows's Recent Viewer is doing. So you'll be able to use this as well if you wanted to. Now, there's also another program on here which is quite useful, which we'll cover in another uh, video, which is called My Last Search, which will view all of your last search history in your browser. So if you've got someone who's using your computer and you want to find out what they're searching for, you can use this My Last Search and it will tell you what they've been searching for and where they've been going. So let's go ahead and extract this one and I'll quickly show you. It looks exactly the same as what Windows does. So I'll extract this and we can take a look at it. And I might as well extract this one while we're here as well using the built-in uh, extraction tool inside Windows. And now we can get rid of these two here. And what we can do is open up the recent file viewer and uh, we'll open this up and you can see here, it's now opened up the application and it shows you exactly the same thing here. Gives you modified time, created time, execution time, and also uh, whether it's got stored in the location and also extensions and file only. Gives you a bit more information on what Windows does, but it is quite a useful tool to keep on a USB flash drive. Uh, if you want to uh, hunt down files and stuff. So that is the actual program there. So how can you go about removing all of this information? It's pretty straightforward, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, inside here, we're going to go to the settings pane. Inside settings, if you go up to system, uh, you'll be able to use the storage area here. Inside storage, you'll see there is a cleaner inside here, which will clean a lot of the uh, junk and gunk off your PC and it will remove that. You can see cleanup recommendations. You can go into here if you want to, and you can now check mark some of the boxes that you want to do and clean up this way, or you can go to the advanced options and choose uh, the advanced options, and this will give you some more options available here 
to remove all of the stuff on your computer. And this is the built in program. I personally uh, disable this and use my own uh, removal tool rather than using something like this. But I'll go ahead and I'll show you here and show you how it works. You can just basically do this. And you can also schedule uh, this one as well to clean up all of your junk files. And again, this is the cleanup tool that's built into Windows. And this will basically uh, help clean up all of the uh, remnants that are left behind from what you've been doing. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at a program you can use here. And I'll go to that website and download it and show you. But using the Windows tool, you can see the recent files are still there and all of that junk is still in there. So you can see it's not uh, removed any of that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, get the program and download it. This one is called Privacer. And uh, there's other ones out there like Bleachbit as well, which you can use to clean up your system. You can download the portable version, which means it's not going to install. It'll work out of a container and you can go ahead and run it from there and it will clean off all of the junk from your PC. And you can do it at a more secure level if you want to, and it will uh, remove it to the point where you can't recover from it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this application. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this program. Uh, for this video but basically it just cleans off all the junk off your pc and you can see here it's scanning depth for hard drives and ssd here you can also do security levels to your liking depending on what sort of level you want to uh, scrub and clean all of those files and remove them from your pc you can do it's got some useful uh, tools built in here it's got the trim command here secure deletion there for your nvme and ssd uh, drives here so let's go ahead and run this on this computer and we'll just give this a quick clean here. You've got smart here, or you can do uh, remove all, depending on what you want to do here. And once you've done, uh, you just click on uh, start and scan the system. And you can also uh, do start cleaning afterwards as well. So there you go. And it'll just go off and do all that sort of stuff for you. Now, these tools are great, but you've got to be careful with them because when you do uh, free space cleaning and stuff like that, it's going to remove a lot of chance of data recovery so if you do manage to delete something by accident and you've been running this on a regular basis there's probably no chance that you're going to be able to recover that data and get it back so be very very careful with these sort of tools and they also add a bit of wear and tear on the drive if you're constantly using these with uh, large overwrites to that data so be very careful when using these especially on ssds and things like that it does have a built-in trim command on here but most of the uh, built-in windows will have that as well. But you can use that feature for uh, SSD uh, rather than uh, hard drives. Now, let this finish off. And then what we'll do is we'll take care of that recent files. And I'll show you exactly where that's located. And you can either decide to turn that feature off or leave it on if you find it useful. I don't find it useful. Uh, I just turn mine off. But that's entirely up to you. So let me close this program off here. And what we'll do is we'll go back into our uh, settings here. So go to settings. And inside here, we need to go to privacy and security. And uh, once we get down here, click on this one. And you should see it there, uh, activity history. And you can see uh, store my activity history on this device. And you can also see send my activity history to Microsoft. Why would you want to send all of your activity history to Microsoft? That's just insane. So you really want to turn those two off and uh, use the clear history to clear all that history as well and uh, don't have it on at all. And that way, there's no chance of it being stored. So why they have that feature in there to see what you're doing on your computer, I have no clue. But you can see that is all now being removed and it will not populate anymore because we've turned it off. And if that's what you want to do, by all means, you can do that. And all of that information will be removed from your computer and it won't be stored, which I think is a much more safer option rather than uh, having it on because I very rarely ever use that at all. I don't think I've ever used it. Anyway, that is how you can see what files were opened and used on your PC. And it's pretty straightforward. And if you use these methods, you'll be able to see if someone is sharing your computer and they're leaving traces behind, you'll be able to see what they're doing on your PC especially if they're doing stuff that you don't want them to do on your PC, you should be able to view it. And you'll only be able to view that sort of stuff if that 
feature is left on and they haven't scrubbed or cleaned the PC after use. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.